it's Ann, and I've been working on figuring out what the next look is going to be with the Grays and the Aftershock. What do you think so far? I've even got lashes on. Anyway, this one's a little simpler. Not quite so many. Trying to blend brights. I'm going to do the other eye. I think it's looking pretty good so far. We'll see how the rest of it goes. Let's get started. Okay. Got to get all my brushes together. Okay. First thing I did... And since I went over it with all of this stuff, I'm going to do it again, even though it's not really apparent on the finished work. And I just took a slightly fluffy brush and went into one of the silver grays and kind of started just brushing. Now this one's got some shimmer to it, but until you wet it, it really doesn't shine much. It's kind of middle of the palette on the grays. And then once I got that laid down, wait a minute. I have to do something. I got all excited about starting this. And luckily I only have one color on. So that'll make it much easier. See, I told you I make boo-boos. I didn't put my primer on. And the primer really does help. Now, I don't have anything except a bit of moisturizer on the eyelid currently. So that'll make it easier, too. I didn't put any foundation on the eyelid this time. There. I should probably re-moisturize, but then I'd have to sit here and wait for it to dry in, and I'd have to... Yeah, yeah no. I've got my Rimmel lash stuff on, and eyebrow, so that's on bits and pieces. As in, like, up in the eyebrow and down on the lash line. Alrighty. Let's get this padded in. Do, do, do. Do, do. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Yes, I would be doing the doot doot song. whether I had screwed up and have to start over again or not. Could be worse. It could be manum 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 num. There's your earworm for the day. Thank you, Muppets. <laughs> They drove me crazy with that sound. They really did. They drove me crazy with that song. And I know a few other people that have gotten drove crazy with that song. Most of them were running around at the science fiction conventions that I ran around at. At the time, it was still new enough that it just st 
stuck in everybody's head. Kind of like that old Wanderama song about being the song that never ends. This is the song that never ends. It goes around and round, my friend. The thing is, that's all the words. It just keeps going around and around and around and around. When you get tired of singing it, the song is over. But not till you get tired of singing it. And some people never get tired. And I really want to smack them. <laughs> until they're tired. Flat brush, little spritz. Little spritz. And let's make sure I've got it on the correct side. Yep. And I started pulling just a little bit of this with the wet. I didn't get all the way down in the corner. I started up here a bit. Let's stay with the right palette here, lady. Now this is the same gray. The only difference is that I used a dry fluffy brush first and then a wet flat brush just to mix it up a little. And then I started out here. This is an aftershock color called Plur. It's this right here. Now I'm telling you, intensity is scary. So I'm doing little tappies to put this on to start with. Little tappies. Just kind of stamping the outline and then going for the fill-in. It does not take more than that little dip that I just did to go completely berserk with this color. Now, it's a gorgeous color, but it is seriously intense. Really seriously. Which is why I did a little something different once I got into the center over here. I'm going to darken this side up just a little bit on this outer corner because you can always add more. Taking it off is another matter once it's laid down. And yes, I went zwooping right under there. Zwoop. Zwoopity. Zwoopity. Okay, now, 
I'm going to take this flat brush again that I did that uh, wet gray with. And I'm going to flip it to the other side. And I'm going to pick up this color called Drop. And that's going in the center. Now, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of anything to it. I did it mostly to kind of work out a little bit of texture between, well, tone between the gray and that deep blue. So it's more a matter of let's do a little something to cut the harsh. A little bit of back and forth here and there to kind of meld the colors and not have. Okay, some people dearly love harsh lines and solid breaks. If I was doing something particular for effect, I could possibly do that, and I have. That's not what I'm doing right now, though. Went over a little far. Let's tuck a little more of that gray back in there. <sighs> I picked it up. And off it went. So, I'll just kind of curl this one over a little bit. Kind of give it the same shape, sort of. Perfect? No. Definitely me. What do you think so far? Now I'm going to show you the last thing that I did. Let's see if I can tame back that blue just a little bit. We'll see. Uh, it's close enough. I'm not perfect. There you go. Never have been, never will be. And let's be real. The Color Workshop palette is nowhere near the intensity or just basic quality of the aftershock. Yeah, because all I'm doing is getting it darker. There. Close as I'm getting. Anyway. I don't know. I may try something else. Just a tad. Stick my fingernail in there and just kind of tap this a little bit. Calm it down just a tad. 
that's a little better. That wine is not so heavy now. Alrighty. Yes, you can fix things. If it looks wrong, you can fix it. Pop this just a little bit more since I've got a slightly deeper group on this side with it. So I'm getting it a little more even. I keep reminding people it's hard for me to do completely even. I don't have my glasses on and I don't currently own contacts, which makes problems. Now, I'm going to take this color down here called Light Show. Sorry about the mirror. Light Show. And I'm going to do just a little bit of an eye line. And what I do when I'm doing something like this is I take a eyeliner brush and I tap the edges in, but I take my spritzer and spritz a little bit on the palette, which is kind of tricky because you've got to spray it and then flip it back on its back pretty quickly to keep it from running all off. And then I'm just going to press that edge right along the lash line. Pick up a little more. Now, it's subtle. It's not terribly bright. It's one of those, it's dimension, but it doesn't really stand out specifically. It's one of those subtle things. Hey, take subtle from me when you can get it. It doesn't happen often. And right along under lower lashes now see if you look at this side you can see it just barely under that lower lash line with the other blue right below it this dark blue comes right underneath I've got it it's under the eyelashes okay okay but where it sits just above the eyelashes, it does show a little bit. You get more impact from the lower lashes than the uppers. Now, I'm smoking this down just a little bit. I don't want to go too low with the smoke in this color. For one thing, as blue as it is, somebody might think I took a smack in the eye. I didn't take no smack in the eye. All righty. That's where we are so far. I'm going to go off camera, put the eyeliner, the eyeliner, eyelashes on. Now, one thing with putting eyelashes on, the majority of eyelashes, unless you do something custom, are going to be either black or dark brown. If you have pale, natural lashes, you really need to do your mascara first. 
to color those lashes in so that they match well with your false lashes. If you have dark lashes, some people find it easier to put the eyelashes on with no mascara first. Some people find it easier with mascara first. That's personal preference and your technique. The only reason I tell people to put the mascara on first for light lashes is you'll never get them colored in to match once the lash once the false lashes are on. You just won't. Um, the, the mascara wands are just not that good. They really aren't not to get the individual lashes once you've got the, the extra fluffies on top. Okay? Okay. Now, if you have trouble with lashes, I will be happy to recommend several makeup artists who have great, absolutely wonderful eyelash tutorials. They know their business. They're very clear. They're very well done for camera work and everything else. You can see exactly what they're doing. I don't have that cap capacity, and I would rather have you go look at somebody else's film that does it right than trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing with my current setup. Besides, I'm still not that good doing it. Anyway, I will be right back. I'm back. Eyelashes. Colors. Now, I did not use a, a blusher with this. I used a bronzer that I picked up at Dollar Tree. Beauty Benefit Hollywood. And there it is. And it does not appear to have a shade name. And then I pulled out my Face Candy Mermaid Glow and used this particular highlighter. Everywhere I would have used a blush, and then all the places I would have used a highlighter. It's got, believe it or not, blue and pink, but it's not purple, which is kind of nifty. My foundation is my Wet n Wild Cream Stick in Classic Ivory. And... I used my AOA Studio Wonder Matte Liquid Lip in Lit, L-I-T-T. -T. And on top of that, I used a Sephora gloss that was a gift from Miss Pink Sweets. And this is Fuchsia Mermaid, so it kind of toned this down a little because otherwise it is like just real dark. Set it with a little powder. Used a powder brush to t pick up any fallout. There was a little fallout. Not a big deal. Put on my mascara which is the Wet n Wild Max Volume. Believe it or not this one has that flexi spiky wand very similar to the um, Benefit Bad Gal Bang. When I first bought this it was a little too wet so it didn't work like the Bad Gal Bang. Now that it's had some air in it and I've had it for a couple of weeks it's settling into that which I love. Lower Lashes, of course, is the AOA Studio Skinny. 
which is so much easier to get into these lower lashes if you haven't seen it there you go little tiny tiny thing it's so much easier to get into the lower lashes the earrings believe it or not i got from aoa studio for a buck they're pretty cool and yeah I would not be in the least upset at the idea of wearing this out. The eyelashes are from AOA Studio. They are natural human hair leftovers from wig making, basically. Paid a dollar for them. This particular style is called Gaia. I will not be wearing them shortly because I can't put my glasses on <laughs> with them. The pink that I put in the corners from the Aftershock palette is probably the palest thing in here. It's called Sensational. It's that little pink right up there. I also put that right under the brows. I used my favorite e.l.f. brow pencil. It, I, yes, love my brow pencil. Anyway, and then I have my Emori Cosmos pink eye pencil that I put in the lower waterline. Unfortunately, these don't last that well in the lower waterline. So, yeah, I got what I got. Maybe one of these days I'll buy some of the color pops. Anyway, each, each, each. And I used some basic e.l.f. powder to just settle everything down. No, I haven't sprayed it. I'm not going anywhere. And like I said, I'm going to be peeling the lashes off shortly so I can put my eyes back on. So I can see what I'm doing. And, you know, you got to be able to see what you're doing when you're getting ready to do the editing. So, yeah, the... Um, Eyelashes will come off, which means some of the eye makeup is going to get screwed up, which means I will probably be taking all this off directly once I finish doing my still pictures. Yes, and for anybody who has noticed, yes, I did recolor my hair because it was getting terribly rooty and that had to go. As we get farther into the summer, I will probably be actually shaving the sides down so that it's like down to skin instead of even a little stubble. But that's look number two from the Aftershock and Grays. And I hope you like what you saw. I hope you're having fun here. I should be able to get at least one more look done with this combo and then I want to try and get one of my installments on the cream and we shall see how the rest of this week goes so far so good now see how all of that disappears it's like I open my eyes and everything disappears. I hate having hooded eyes, but it is what is. It's still pretty dramatic. If I close my eyes, you get to see all that hard work I did. Open them and look right at the camera and watch it disappear except for right at the edges <laughs> and a little strip. Anyway, see you next time. Come on back and play. If any of you have the idea of recreating anything that I have done, heaven help you, let me know. I want to see. Anybody want to do a collab? Call me. You know, 
call me. Uh, well, drop me a message. <laughs> you can DM me on, on Instagram if you want. Anyway. There is no bail money. Be good. Thank you.